Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will review the welding simulator application from Weld VR. To access more detailed information about this welding simulator, you can visit their website at webvr.com. Click the buy now, try before you buy button to go to the download page on meta.com. On the Weld VR page on meta.com. The listed price is $999.99, but at the top, there's an option for a free trial. So, I clicked on the get free trial button to try it out. Then, I clicked agree and download, followed by clicking continue. Next, I turned on my VR headset, I'm using the Oculus Quest 2. In the list of applications, I found the Weld VR app, and clicked to begin the installation of Weld VR on the Oculus Quest 2. After the installation process was completed, I clicked on the Weld VR application to start running Weld VR. Prior to this, I made sure to set up a sufficiently sized play space for running Weld VR. This is the initial interface of the Weld VR application, where we're placed in a welding booth. Initially, a login window will appear. As I didn't have an account, I selected the standalone version to begin. On the home page, there will be three module options, training, lessons, and session replays. Let's start by clicking on training. Next, there will be three options for the types of welding to choose from, MIG, TIG, and STICK. Click on the welding type, and then select the level. I'll choose beginner. Then, choose type of joint. Welcome to the welding module. Press start Adjust when you are ready height. to begin. When it's set, click apply to start the welding training. When you're ready, press the start button to begin the welding process. You can now start welding. Press the finish button once you are done to look at the... Alright, now let's try to start the welding process, and feel the experience of welding process in a VR environment. After finishing, we can review the parameters that need to be maintained during the welding process, such as travel angle, work angle, speed, and distance. If they appear in red, it indicates that during the welding process, the parameters didn't align with the standard requirements, potentially affecting the quality of the welding outcome. Click on the toggle heat map button to view the heat map of the welding results. The results of your current session are shown on the display in front of you. After clicking finish, information about the welding process results will appear for review. It will highlight which parameters did not meet the standard requirements. Additionally, by clicking the play button, we can review and observe the welding positions that were just performed. Click exit to leave this session. Then, click on training again, and let's try another type of welding. Welcome to the welding module. Press start when you are ready to begin. The results of your current session are shown on the display in front of you.
Welcome to the welding module, press start when you are ready to begin. In the training module, we can experience a simulation of the actual welding process, which closely resembles real welding. We can try three types of welding and three types of joints during the welding process. Additionally, you can review the parameters maintained during the welding process. It is very interesting. The results of your current session are shown on the display in front of you. Next, let's try the lessons module. Welcome to the MIG welding lesson. Press start when you are ready to begin. MIG welding is an arc welding process that uses a continuous solid wire electrode heated and fed into the weld pool from a welding gun. The travel angle is an important factor in welding because it can affect the welding process and the quality of the weld. The welding gun should be angled 10 to 15 degrees in the direction of motion for drag angle or 10 to 15 degrees in the opposite direction of motion for push angle. Voltage determines arc length as well as the height and width of the bead. Some welding machines come with a chart for setting the proper voltage. Welcome to the stick welding lesson. Press start. Stick welding refers to a welding method where a filler rod in the electrode holder serves as the welding electrode. Stick welding is the process in which a power source is used to create an electric arc between a flux covered electrode and the workpiece. A welding electrode is a fixed length, straight welding wire coated with a filler material. The welding electrode has a fixing head with which it is attached to the electrode holder. The other end of the electrode has the ignition head with the letter E indicates electrode. The first two digits refer to the stick welding in the flat, horizontal and overhead positions uses a drag or backhand welding technique. Hold the electrode perpendicular to the joint and then tilt the top in the direction of travel approximately 5 to 15 degrees. For welding vertical up, use a push or forehand technique and tilt the top of the electrode 5 to 15 degrees away from the direction of travel. Traveling too slowly produces a wide convex bead with shallow penetration. Excessively fast travel speed. Keep your arc length short, your arc length shouldn't be longer than your electrode diameter. If your arc gets too short, then you're going to lower your voltage and stick your electrode to the workpiece. If your arc gets too long, your voltage will increase, your puddle will widen, you'll get more spatter. The correct amperage setting primarily depends on the diameter and type of electrode selected. While stick welding, the voltage is determined at the arc, not at the welding power supply. To create a wider bead on thicker material, manipulate the electrode from side to side. The welding is started by sharp this brings us to the end of the stick welding lesson. Welcome to the TIG welding lesson. Press start when you are ready. TIG welding is an arc welding process that produces the weld with a non-consumable tungsten electrode. TIG weld polarity refers to the direction of current flow when welding. Polarities mostly used in TIG welding are direct current electrode negative, recommended for welding most of the metals, and alternating current for aluminium welding. The electrode material should provide a combination of the following characteristics. Low electrical resistance, high melting point, good emission of electrons, and good thermal conductivity.
Amperage is set according to material thickness and can be operated by a foot pedal. In the session replay module, you can view the training sessions that have been conducted previously. Click to display the welding session you wish to review. Let's try welding with a different type of joint once more. Welcome to the welding module. Press start when you are ready to begin. In my opinion, this welding simulator application is quite interesting. We're able to simulate the welding process using a VR headset without the need for actual welding equipment. The graphics presented and the experience of the welding process are remarkably close to reality. This can serve as excellent training material for welding beginners because, during each welding performance, we can review the positions during the welding process. The app also includes a lessons module, offering insights into welding processes like different types of welding, parameters, and more. However, with a price tag exceeding $900, I find it rather expensive. If you want to try it out, the trial version allows for 20 minutes of app usage. After that period, you'd need to pay $900 for the enterprise version. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.